Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to run docker in Google Cloud Platform. Here I am going to use uh, Ubuntu instance. First let's create the instance. This is very similar to what we do in our Ubuntu server. But here we are going to do in Google Cloud, Cloud Platform. Let's rename it to Ubuntu docker I am going to use micro for this and then I am just going to create it yes no this is the one which is going to be created and I have already taken the series of commands which I am going to use for this tutorial so let's go through it this one will check the status uh, this will make sure whether we have already installed the docker in our server or not and this will give us the kernel version I am hoping we will get Ubuntu Linux 3x kernel and this will update the repository of the Ubuntu and this is going to install the docker here I have given docker I.O. because Ubuntu already has a software named as docker so they are using docker.io to install docker now after you install it should be running and let's see what these three commands will do in our docker is installed I am opening the session here So it will take little time depending upon your network. So let's go through that again. This is going to give the short version of what docker we are using. And this will give you the long version of docker client as well as the server. Info will give you information about uh, how many docker application you are running. Okay, we got this. Let's do this one by one. So it should not be running. Okay. I think I need to do with sudo. Yeah. Docker IO service. This is saying that active is not inactive or dead. So obviously the docker is not installed. Now I will check the Linux kernel version. This is Linux and this is the host name which I gave in my uh, Google Cloud platform. See we can see it is 3.16. So this is what we are interested in. Now let's do this. Again, I need to do it with sudo. The one thing I like about Google is the speed is so awesome. Uh, not only Google, I have seen this the same thing in Azure as well as Amazon. The cloud internet speed is very high. You can give a try if you have a free trial. And I am going to install docker.io. As I said before, docker is a separate application. Docker.io is the application which is the real docker. So once this is completed, we can run this command and we can expect the service will be up and running. 
you. Okay, service not found. Let's give start. Our user is failed to load. No such file or directory. Uh, hello guys, I paused the video and checked what is going wrong. So the Docker is installed with the name Docker. So previously I was using the command sudo service docker dot io status but the reason it is not showing is it is registered as docker service docker status it will show now sorry yeah this is running now so why did this happen like this you know all the startup script will be stored under etc init.d so here it is configured as docker that's the reason we are using docker instead of docker io so if your environment has registered as docker.io under etc init.d then you should use docker.io mm, this is really weird because in my virtual machine it was registered as docker.io but here it is as docker so not a problem now let's see the commands version commands you should give the version which is 1.6.2 Now, if you want to see the client and server version, then you have to use this command. Something is wrong here. Okay, I think we should do using sudo. So let's see the version here client version is 1.6.2 and it is using go uh, you know this docker is actually written using go programming language and it is using go 1.3.3 let's run the same command using sudo yes here if you see the client version and server version are same and I think I am using AMD processor that's what it is telling us and finally the last command docker info you will be using docker info quite often again I need to use with sudo so containers there are zero containers there are zero images Let's get back after we configure the containers and images. The storage here is using AUFS. Uh, actually, this is a file system used by Docker. You can see the backup, backing file system is ext file system. By default, Linux has ext file system, and the Docker uses AUFS file system. And this is the memory and my name of the Docker, the ID. So we can see later what all those means when we get into deeper into the docker thanks guys thanks for watching this video